Okay, so not having it back with some Medal of Honor gameplay. Yes, I love this game. Uh, we got some team deathmatch here. Team assault is what they call it. On, uh, I don't know the name of the map. It's a pretty shitty map. I'm rocking a shotgun with a uh, uh, either a red dot sight or hollow. It looks like a hollow sight, but just, um, I don't think the sight is needed, but it helps out a little bit. But this shotgun is a one-shot kill weapon. If used close enough, two shots from uh, medium range, and it's completely fucking useless from uh, long range. Uh, uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm having a little trouble with YouTube today. I don't know whether uh, anybody else is. If you are, just let me know. But I'm having trouble uploading my videos. I did this really badass home front video. And it's not, uh, it's uploading the video just fine, but the audio is all screwed up. I think, I, I don't, I have to go back and look at my audio settings, but I, I don't know whether it's the, uh, whether it's the, uh, because I can play the video just fine on my computer. It sounds perfect. It sounds great. But when I upload it to YouTube, it sounds horrible. So I have to go back and see exactly what the deal is. Maybe it's something changed with the audio settings. I'm also having a little bit of trouble with my computer because I uploaded it to Windows 7 Microsoft Service Pack 1. First of all, my computer is working fine, perfectly. So I go to Windows Update and it downloads the Service Pack and it installs it. And all of a sudden, during the installation process, I get the blue screen of death like five times. The computer had to keep restarting just so it can install what kind of shit is that i mean i don't understand that like uh, my laptop i have a macbook pro every time i've had to update my macbook and it hasn't been that much um everything is going smooth there have been no problems i literally check this out i updated my my microsoft um windows application to service pack one and as soon as it got finished screwing up and uploading and it finally got uploaded all the way as soon as i started windows there was another update available for my computer why does microsoft do that why can't you just uh release one big ass update and let everybody download it and then leave us alone why does it have to be more than just one update why do i have to update just to get another update as soon as i restart my computer and every update has to have a restart you can't you just can't update the computer and you know i don't know, fuck it you know um it's just it's it's, it's I don't know it's a waste of time really um, having a Mac is way easier it's way you got a, a higher quality of life and it's much smoother and everything but you know anyway um as you can see I just got a uh, I think I got a UAV sweep and um, I did really good with this shotgun I like this shotgun it's like if it's not my most most used vehicle, um, weapon it should be because I use it a lot and I like it and the fact that it's a one shot kill uh, pretty much in close range close to medium range makes it a hell of a lot better than um, uh, a lot of the other guns now don't get me wrong I still like the old uh, assault rifles that they have and everything but sometimes you just want to run around with the shotgun and wreak mayhem and that's what I did this uh, this match. I was gonna say this round, but this match. I'm gonna have some more um, some more gameplay up. Uh, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow is Labor Day, so I don't know whether I'm gonna be doing anything. I'm definitely gonna be playing a little bit. I got some things planned. Resistance Three, the first of the four threes. Uh, it's coming out Tuesday. So you can most definitely expect to see a video of that, either single player or multiplayer. Probably single player because I've um, uploaded some multiplayer uh, beta gameplay. So I'm going to be doing a video about that. I'm also thinking about getting Dead Island, that new zombie game that's coming out. I've heard really good things about it. I saw the videos about it and it, I was like, man, that looks amazing. I'm not really into zombie killing games, but that looks pretty fun. Apparently it's like a... Uh, a uh, mix between a first person shooter and an RPG and I've read some reviews actually I read one one review on IGN and it was an 8.0 I generally disagree with IGN's um, reviews of video games 
so I don't know whether it's I'll I'll agree with it or not. But I'll I'll go through and I'll I'll upload the video of that game too after I played it for a little while and I'll give you my thoughts on that one. The game does look promising though, I will say that. And of course, Resistance 3, uh, everything I'm reading about Resistance 3 is saying, it, uh, everything that I've read has said that it, that game is amazing. It's the best out of the series. I didn't like the first Resistance, I like the second Resistance, so I have really high hopes for this one. And I, from what I've read, um, I won't be let down. So I'm really excited to play that game. Like, as soon as I got the email saying that it got shipped from Amazon, I was like, hell yeah, that's about to be on. Uh, I'm going to roll with Resistance 3 and uh, Dead Island until... Um, let me see, what comes up next? Is it... Let's see, today is September, so October. Next month is uh, Battlefield. So I'm going to be rocking that. Most definitely, Battlefield is going to be on and popping. I think I'm about to call in a mortar strike here in a second. Um, I like how they give you a choice in this game between uh, UAVs and mortar. I think Modern Warfare 3 is trying to go to that, but I don't. They're not going to give you the choice. You have to pick either. You have to pick your strike package before the match starts. But I like the way they do this. You can either call in a mortar strike for yourself, or you can call in a UAV to help your whole team. I like that. That's a pretty good concept. I called in a UAV earlier, and now I called in a mortar strike. So pretty awesome. Not bad. I read some things about a new model. Um, yeah, new no, a new Medal of Honor game that's supposed to be coming out next year, I think, and it's supposed to be in the future, but not like you know sci-fi in the future. But from what I read, it seems to be pretty good. I like, like I, I like I've said in my past Medal of Honor videos, this game has the best storyline out of any other game, Battlefield or Modern Warfare or Black Ops um, because this game, Black Ops is kinda, it has, it deals with true events too but as far as modern combat games, Metal of Honor has the best storyline because it's real and it deals with real world events it's not, you know, we're not fighting the Russians or any other yeah, something crazy like that uh, storylines, those storylines are great and all they're entertaining but come on, I mean how many times have you? Uh, how many times are we gonna fight the Russians in modern warfare? You know, a Russian terrorist or the country of Russia or something like that. I don't. I don't like that. I like Medal of Honor. I recently beat the uh, single player campaign. Campaign. I actually beat it on Veterans Day, and that was really to see the ending and see how everything turned out, and then you know to read the, the, the yeah, everything, the message that came up at the end of the game. I was like this is crazy this is really good the community for this game is really really good I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised there are people that still play this game and uh, I'm really I'm glad that there are people that still like this type of gameplay you know the, the you know the realistic sound and the realistic guns and the realistic uh, you know, and, uh, levels and everything like that I, I'm really surprised and, not, not just surprised, but I'm really glad that people actually still support this game because that lets EA know that, hey, we need to get the ball rolling on the next game and we need to hurry up. Well, not hurry up, but we need to uh, we need to release another game, you know, um, and I hope they do it next year. Other than that, uh, like I said, Dead Island Resistance 3, and then, uh, let me see, and then after Resistance 3, no, after Battlefield 3, it's going to be Uncharted 3, and then it's going to be Modern Warfare 3, and then I think I'm just about done for the year, unless the PlayStation Vita comes out this year, I'm going to try really hard to get that, I don't know, the price is kind of steep, I might be able to move some stuff, sell something, and, and get it, but you know, uh, I'll, I'll see. I'll see exactly what I what I have to do, but I really do want one. I'm actually thinking about getting the HD PVR. Uh, I have to do more research on it because the way I do it now with the Roxio Game Cap is that I have to um, I have to record the video in 4 480p standard definition, then I render the video to a high definition, which takes a while, a little bit, a, a little while. Um, 
is for 720p and then it takes a little longer of course for 1080p i don't know whether the h the uh whether the, the hd pvr does it record in hd or or what i don't know i have to do research on that but i know it's very popular among the youtube community and the uh roxy o game cap is a great starting point just to see if you know it, for me it was a great starting point just to see if the youtube thing was really going to be you know whether it was really going to become popular and it has you know my youtube channel has taken off and i've met a lot of people and i've got uh i've got 30 some odd subscribers of course my goal is to have 50 by the end of september i'm really working hard to get that i think it's an attainable goal i don't think i'm out of you know out of touch with reality by setting that goal but yeah the, the roxio game cap is a great starting point after i get my pvr i'll probably end up giving a uh, game cap away as a contest you know just to see if it's uh, you know anybody wants it but that that's all uh a little ways down the road um let me see i got a couple more minutes left in this video uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys want in the next Medal of Honor game? Like I said, what I've read wasn't confirmed, but I, I've read that it was supposed to be futuristic. You know, kind of like that uh, that new uh, Tom Clancy game that's coming out. But some, something along those lines. But what do you guys want in the new Medal of Honor game? Uh, leave me a comment. Hit me up. Let me know. Uh, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. Uh, I don't get as many comments on my videos as I would like, but any comment is... Uh, an appreciated comment but uh yeah this match is over uh, uh like comment subscribe spread the word tell everybody i got contests coming up as soon as i get 50 subscribers if you want to be down uh spread the word help me get up to 50 and then we can go with the contest rolling get this get this thing popping what did i do did i go what is that 12 and 14 or something i don't know anyway this video was over thanks for all the support guys i'm not having it and i'm out